If you want to stream your favorite games to Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, I'm going to share my personal OBS settings for the most optimal experience for your channel. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rockhead, and I've been a streamer for quite a while now, and using OBS for streaming recording has been the best software for me. So I'm going to show you my personal settings, that way you can get the best streaming that works out for you, and... Maybe in the future I'll do a recording video. Who knows? If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below or catch me on Twitch Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 11.30 p.m. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So before we start anything, and if you haven't already, you wanna to go to this website to um, download OBS Studio. And then after you download OBS Studio, you wanna click on either Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, depending on the operating system and then let that download. And then once you have it downloaded, just set it up and it should be on your computer. So now that you have everything set up and ready to go, the next thing you wanna do, click on setting. Now that the settings tab popped up, the first thing we're gonna look at is the general tab. There's really not much to change in the general tab except the language you speak and the theme. So once you have that all set up, you wanna click on the stream tab. Now I already have my account connected, but you can also use your stream key. But also keep in mind, click on the service that you want to use, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or any other streaming service you want to use. And after you select your servers, make sure you select the right server that's closest to you. And after you click on what service you want to live stream to, you want to click on the server that's closest to you. For mine, for example, it's going to be US East New York, New York. Once you have the stream tab all set up, go to your output tab. Now make sure your output mode is set to advance. If not, just please set it to advance. And then under the streaming tab, you want to have your encoder to the NVENC um, encoder, or if you don't have an NVENC GPU and you want to use your CPU, use X264. The reason why I'm using the NVIDIA GPU is because it's a lot less strain on your CPU when streaming, and it just works better overall. We want to set our rate control to CBR. CPR stands for constant bit rate. And if we change it to any of these other ones, especially lossless, don't please don't use lossless had a fucking idea. CBR is just um, keep it at a constant bit rate. And if we use a variable bit rate for live streams, it's just gonna fuck everything up. Now for bit rate, I have mine set to 3500, but in case you don't know what bit rate you wanna use, I have a little graph I'm showing on the screen right now. And that's just the common bit rates um, coming from different um, websites and stuff like that for the recommended bit rate. For key, for key frame interval, you wanna set that to two and that's just the standard for every live stream. For preset, this is a little tricky because OBS updated so much, we don't even know what the hell's going on. I put mines at P4. There's really no difference between P7, P5, P6, and yeah, there is, I mean, medium quality and there's no like diminishing returns after that. For tuning, you want it to be set at high quality unless you really have a struggling computer. So you can put it at low latency or ultra low latency. For multi-pass mode, do single pass. The two passes, quarter res and full resolution, that's more like if you're recording. Set profile to high. And then look ahead and cycle visual tuning. I don't really use because it uses extra CUDA cores, especially cycle visual tuning. For GPU, you want it at zero and max B frame set to two. And then that's just it for the output tab. Now you also want to skip over to the audio tab and then set your um, first track to 160. I know you can like put, bump it all the way to 320, but keep in mind, it's the web. You're not gonna hear a whole difference between 320 and 192 or heck even 160 or 128. It's all up to you. You guys can experiment on that. I'm not a, I'm not an audio fidel. And then that's our audio tab. Once you finish with the output tab, click on the audio tab. The audio tab is where you're gonna set up whatever um, desktop audio you're gonna use and whatever microphone you use. I use voice meter banana for separating my music in my stream, but I can make that into another video. For sample rate, the default is 48. Keep channels at stereo. I don't know why you wanna listen to a live stream in 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound. Um, and then set the rest to default, because there's really not much going on. Now in your video tab, you wanna set your base camera's resolution to 1920 by 1080 or whatever monitor um, resolution you have. For output scale resolution, you can change this to 720p, or if you like, you can um, keep it at 1080p, depending on what you're gonna stream in. And then have the common FPS value to 60, 
430 depending on how you want your stream to look. 60 is the smoothest, but 30 gives the best overall performance. Now you can skip over hotkeys if you want to use hotkeys and accessibility because there's really not much accessibility by a bunch of cult pretty colors. The advanced tab is really optional. Process priority, I put mine at above normal. You can leave it at normal if you like. The color space, seven, rec 709 and then color range to limited, but you can keep it at default to limited and rec 601. It'll, it doesn't make too much of a difference. And then for me, the last thing I do is have my IP set to default and I use enable network optimization. What that does is just um, optimize um, OBS to like make it more like network friendly. And it's just like been working for me for the longest, longest time. I mean, I don't have that much education on it, but it works well. I recommend it for anybody that feels like that their internet is just not that great enough. And that guys are my OBS settings to stream on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming. If the video helped you, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Oh my God, let's go, bro.